In this video, we will consider quantile regressions. My name is Ngozi Adeleye, facilitator, Crunch Econometrics paper. These are the learning outcomes. Why do we engage quantile regression? How to specify quantile regression models? How you can interpret the results from quantile regression models? And you have references to guide you for further readings. Recall that the OLS models examine the relationship between the independent variables x and the conditional mean of the outcome variable y. And if you remember this generic interpretation, a percentage change in x causes y to change by k percent on average ceteris paribus. On the other hand, QR models, which are quantum regressions now, examine the relationship between X, that is the regressors, and the conditional quantiles of Y, rather than just the conditional mean of Y. A quantile defines a particular part of your data set. It determines how many values in the distribution are above or below a certain limit. And there are several types of quantiles. We have quartiles, we are looking at quarters in the data, or quintiles, or percentiles. So these are all variants of quantiles. Now, why do we engage quantile analysis? Several reasons abound. So if you decide to pick whichever one relates most to your research. Compared with conventional mean regressions, QR can characterize the entire heterogeneous conditional distribution of the outcome variable Y. It may be more robust to outliers and miss specification of the error distribution. It provides more comprehensive statistical modeling than the traditional mean regression. QR models are used to detect heterogeneous effects of covariates at different quantiles of the outcome variable. And when asymmetries and heavy tails exist, the sample median, which is the 50th quartile or quintile or percentile, is best known as one of the best examples of quantiles. And that is because it provides a better summary of centrality than the mean. QR offers more robust and complete estimates compared to the mean regression when the normality assumption is violated or there are outliers in the model or long tails exist. These attributes make the QR modeling to be attractive and applicable to different types of data. So regardless of your type of data, you can engage quantile regression. It provides more information and describes the distribution of the dependent variable. Quantiles and percentiles are synonymous, such that the 0.99 quantile equates to the 99th percentile. The median equates to 0 0.50 quantile, or the quartile, quintile, or percentile. Now let's move on to model specification. On the screen, we have the quantile regression described by equation one, where BQ is a vector of the unknown parameters related to the QX quantile. And recall that OLS minimizes this, which is the sum of squares of the model prediction error. In this example, I'm assuming that I have a time series data. So that's why you can see the subscript T. So yours could be a cross-sectional data where you have the subscript I or a panel data where you have the subscript IT or a pooled data with the subscript IT. So like I said, QR modeling can be used on any type of data. The median regression, also called least absolute deviation, 
regression minimizes this, as you can see right here. Now, the quantile regression minimizes this, which is a sum that produces the asymmetric penalties, such that the first part of the equation represents under prediction and the second part captures over prediction. Importantly, the estimator of the quiz quarter, which is this, minimizes over the betas, the objective function expressed as you can see in equation two. If you look closely, this equation is also divided into two. I'm going to color code this or just bolden it to show the differences. So that is the first part. Let me put a black color there. And this is the second part. And remember that Q must lie between zero and one. In contrast to OLS and maximum likelihood, the QR uses the linear programming methods such that BQ, that is the beta relating to the Q quantile, identifies the particular estimates, which is different from the beta as it is for the OLS. So how will you interpret your quantile results? Very simple. Recall that the standard conditional quantile is specified to be linear, as indicated in equation three. Now, for the Kate regressor, the marginal effect is given by the coefficient for the Qt quantile, expressed as this, shown in equation four. It's simply taking the first differential of equation three with respect to the Kate regressor. So how will you interpret beta Q K? That is the beta estimate corresponding to the Q quantile of the K regressor. So BQK represents the change in a specified quantile Q of the ASCON variable Y from one unit change in the regressor XK. Very simple. Therefore, marginal effects are for the infinitesimal changes in the regressor, assuming that the outcome variable remains in the same quarter. So generally, how will you wrap up interpreting your results? Number one, you have to indicate which quantile of the outcome variable is being referred to. If the coefficient is not statistically significant. It implies that coefficient is not significantly different from zero, meaning it has no effect on the outcome variable at that particular killed quarter. But if it is statistically significant, it implies it is significantly different from zero, meaning it has effects on the outcome variable are the Qt quantile. Also, you will know that along the distribution of the outcome variable, the QR coefficients can show different effects. At some quantiles, the effect can be significant. At some other quantiles, the effects might not be significant. And the magnitude of significance will even differ. And lastly, QR coefficients can be significantly different from the OLS coefficients from very obvious reasons that we have explained before. So here on the screen, I have listed some references to guide you for further readings. Ensure you pick one of them to understand the nitty gritty of quantile regression modeling. I have also included my paper in number five, written with Dr. Ansa, Dr. Tabash, and Professor Tiwari. I will also encourage you to pick a copy, go through, and see how we interpreted our results. Subsequent videos will show the practical um, hands-on tutorials in eViews and in Stata. Thank you so much for watching. I have just covered introduction to quantile regression. I am interested in your feedback. Kindly leave them in the comment section below. And please remember 
to refer your friends, colleagues, and institutions to enroll into the Crunch Econometrics paper series. Enrollment fee is very low and it is one off. If you're able to enroll into my Crunch Econometrics school, you have access to watch all these easy to understand videos.